Imagine this specific scene. Um, you are about to walk into an important job interview. The building is modern, all glass and steel, and the air inside is cool and quiet. As you approach the designated room, a sudden, unmistakable tightening sensation forms deep in your stomach. It is not pain, but a knot of certainty. You feel a strange sense of calm wash over you, a quiet confidence that this is the right place for you. You have always called this a gut feeling. You might dismiss it as a simple case of nerves or just a fleeting emotional response. But what if it is something much, much more profound? What if your gut is not just feeling, but actively thinking and sending you real, actionable messages? What if your gut is in fact, a second brain? This idea might sound like science fiction but it is one of the most exciting frontiers in modern medicine. For generations we have used phrases that connect our stomachs to our emotions. We talk about having butterflies in our stomach when we are nervous or in love. We trust our gut instincts when making difficult decisions. We feel sick to our stomach when we receive bad news. These are not just colorful metaphors, they are echoes of a deep biological truth that science is only now beginning to fully understand. The intricate communication system between your digestive tract and your brain is far more complex and influential than we ever imagined, shaping your mood, your thoughts, and even your health in surprising ways. The mystery begins with this simple, relatable experience. That sudden feeling, that intuitive hit, is not just a random flicker of emotion, it is a biological signal, a piece of data sent from an intelligent system, located right in your core. It is a message that travels along a complex network, carrying information that your conscious mind might not have processed yet. Many people know the common phrase gut feeling. It is a familiar part of our language and our lives. However, very few people know the incredible science that gives this phrase its meaning. Tucked away within the walls of your digestive system is a vast and intricate network of nerves. Scientists have given this network a formal name, the enteric nervous system, or the ENS. This is not just a small bundle of nerves. The ENS is so extensive and complex that researchers often call it our second brain. It contains approximately 100 million nerve cells. That's more than the neurons in your spinal cord and nearly as many as in the entire brain of a cat. What makes the ENS truly remarkable is its capacity for independent action. Unlike most of your peripheral nervous system, which needs commands from the head brain, the ENS can operate on its own. It can sense the environment within your gut. It can make its own decisions. It can execute complex processes without input from the central nervous system. Its primary job is to manage digestion. It controls the muscle contractions that move food along. It regulates the secretion of digestive enzymes. It oversees the absorption of nutrients. This autonomy explains why digestion can continue even if the main nerve to the brain is severed. This second brain is a masterpiece of biological engineering, a self-contained system handling essential functions for survival. For a very long time, the prevailing medical view was that the relationship between the brain and the gut was a one-way street. We believed the brain was the undisputed master, sending commands down to the gut which would obediently follow orders. However, we now know that this picture was incomplete. The communication is not a monologue, it is a dynamic, continuous dialogue. The gut talks back to the brain, and it has a lot to say. This constant bi-directional flow is the gut-brain axis. It functions like a superhighway connecting the emotional centers, connecting the cognitive centers to your digestive system. Built from a web of neural pathways, hormonal pathways, immune pathways. One of the main roads is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the longest cranial nerve, like a giant fiber optic cable running from the brainstem to your abdomen, branching to the heart, lungs, and gut. It channels information between the ENS and the central nervous system. Research shows 80-90% of vagus fibers carry info from the gut to the brain, not the other way around. Your gut is constantly sending updates to your brain. Those butterflies before a speech are the gut-brain axis in action, mediated by the vagus nerve. One of the most astonishing discoveries about the gut-brain axis is the gut's role as a major chemical factory for mood-regulating substances. When you think of neurotransmitters, the chemical messengers that govern your brain function, you naturally think of the brain itself. But the gut is a surprisingly prolific producer of these vital chemicals. For example, consider serotonin, a key neurotransmitter, happiness, well-being, calm. It plays a crucial role in regulating mood, sleep cycles, appetite.
You may be shocked to learn that an estimated 90% of your body's total serotonin is produced not in your brain, but within your gut. The serotonin manufactured in your gut is produced by enterochromaffin cells, which are located in the lining of your digestive tract. While gut-made serotonin does not cross the blood-brain barrier, it powerfully influences signals sent up the vagus nerve and regulates intestinal movement locally. Its production is shaped by what is happening inside your gut, the foods you eat, the microbes that live there. If your gut makes the vast majority of a chemical critical for mood, the health of your gut can directly impact how you feel. This helps explain the strong link between gastrointestinal issues like irritable bowel syndrome and anxiety, depression, not just discomfort, but internal chemistry sending signals that shape emotion. Inside your gut, there is a bustling, hidden world teeming with life. This complex ecosystem is home to trillions of microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other tiny life forms. Collectively, they are known as the gut microbiome. The sheer number is difficult to comprehend. They outnumber your own human cells by about 10 to 1. We once thought of them as passengers. Now we know they are essential partners, a virtual organ. These tiny microbes perform critical functions. Breaking down food we cannot digest, synthesizing vitamins like vitamin K and B vitamins that support energy and overall health, and training our immune system. A healthy, diverse microbiome helps maintain the intestinal barrier, blocking harmful pathogens. Perhaps, most fascinating. Your microbes are active chemical communicators. They metabolize food and produce molecules that enter your bloodstream, even reaching your brain. Some produce short-chain fatty acids like beauty rate, which fuel colon cells and reduce inflammation that can influence brain health. Others manufacture neurotransmitter-like substances, adding to the chemical soup that influences mood and behavior. Which microbes flourish depends on your diet, stress levels, sleep patterns, and environment. If beneficial species dominate, they support brain health. If harmful ones take over, they may promote inflammation or disrupt brain function. Your microbiome is dynamic. Feed it well, and you feed your brain. The scientific community is now building a powerful case that links our gut microbiome to mental and cognitive health. What was once theoretical is now shown in compelling research, groundbreaking studies, first in animals and now increasingly in humans, reveal profound influence. For example, a landmark 2011 study by Diaz Heights and colleagues found that germ-free mice raised with no gut bacteria showed markedly different behavior, more anxiety and risk-taking, tied to altered brain chemistry. Early life colonization with normal bacteria reversed some behaviors. In 2015, Jiang and colleagues showed patients with major depressive disorder had distinct gut bacteria compared to healthy controls, not proof of causation, but a powerful biological signature. A 2019 review by Dainan and Cryan connected specific microbial patterns with anxiety, stress, and mood disorders, solidifying the microbiome as a key player. Influence extends into cognition, memory, and learning. Early human work now probes links between microbial composition and brain fog, cognitive decline in aging, even Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. This field is moving fast. New sequencing and larger trials add layers of understanding. Microbes are not the single cause of disorders like depression or anxiety, which are multifactorial, but the ties are undeniable. This opens new ways to think about and potentially treat mental health, not only the brain, but the gut as a promising target. So, what can you do with this powerful knowledge right now? The good news is that you can take simple, practical steps to support and strengthen your gut-brain connection. You do not need a complicated or expensive plan to start making a real difference. Small, consistent changes can foster a healthier microbiome and a more resilient mind. First, focus on diet. Eat a variety of whole foods, especially plants, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, legumes, rich in fiber, the preferred food for your beneficial microbes. This fiber is called prebiotic. It helps good bacteria thrive. Second, consider probiotics, live beneficial bacteria from foods like yogurt with live cultures, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, kombucha, or targeted supplements. Always talk to a healthcare professional before starting supplements. Third, manage stress. Chronic stress disrupts the microbiome and increases intestinal permeability, leaky gut, fueling inflammation. Use simple techniques, daily deep breathing, mindful walks, and prioritize sleep. Fourth, move your body. 
even a daily brisk walk can boost microbial diversity and your mood, stress resilience and sleep quality by aligning eating well, sleeping well, moving and managing stress, you create an inner harmony where your gut, microbes and brain work together. Your gut may not be the boss, but it is one of your most powerful advisors. Listen when it speaks. If you found value in this, smash the like button, share it with a friend, and subscribers for more content.